Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to walk through the installation process of MISP using Docker. Now, some folks uh, might be intimidated uh, with getting MISP up and running or not too sure where to even start, right? So the cool thing uh, about this tutorial I'm going to show you is it's, it's really easy and it can all be done in less than 20 minutes. There's uh, minimal commands involved and to get MISP up and running so you can play around with it, I would say the, um, uh, the level of effort is minimal. So uh, there's a few things I want to state uh, before we begin. So this, what you see right here, this is a fresh install of Ubuntu uh, on VirtualBox. Um, so there might be a small bump or error, whatever you want to call it, uh, along the install process. Um, <clears throat> it's super easy to fix, and we will go over that. The reason why I wanted to include that is uh, in this demo, if you follow along and you're doing this install from uh, a fresh installation of Ubuntu, it, it's pretty likely you will encounter this error too. So I wanted to include it that way you can see how to uh, overcome it, which is super easy. It's nothing to even worry about. All right, let's go check out the MISP website first. So if you go to www.misp-project.org, you will come to the main MISP website. Feel free to uh, come to the site, poke around, lots of really cool stuff, tons of documentation. Uh, but what we're really concerned about is over here in the Downloads tab, right? So once you're there, scroll down till you see Docker containers. Now they have three options. We are going to work with this option up here on the top. This production ready Docker images for MISP and MISP modules. Also, if, if you're not a uh, visual learner uh, and you just prefer to uh, uh, read instructions, that's fine. You can go here uh, to this blog and, and check out these instructions. I haven't really looked through them too much, so uh, I can't tell you how good they are, but um, I'm going to bet they're pretty darn good, especially if MISP is kind of um, advertising it, if you will, on their site, right? <clears throat> okay, so let's go to this. This is going to take us to the MISP GitHub. We can just scroll down and take a peek. So these are the basic um, steps we're going to be following. Um, you can come down and, and read through this if you wish. Uh, but I'm trying to keep it very basic and not get really technical at all. Um, all right, so I think we can begin. We're going to pop open our terminal. Okay, let's get that minimized. <laughs> All right, we need to get clone HTTPS. Docker. Let's see, right away, this is a bump in the road. Uh, we need to install git. <clears throat> sudo app install git. All right, we'll say yes. Okay. 
Now if we just hit the up arrow on the keyboard, drop in that command again. Oh, wrong command. There we go. All right. So CD misp docker. Okay, so we pulled down the repo. Now there is a template.env file in here. We need to copy. Right now, if we want, we can check out that um, env file. Now, if you wanted to, you could come in here and customize stuff. We're not going to do that. Actually, .env. Whoops. So yeah, as I was saying, if you wanted to, you could come in here and customize um, options. We're not doing that. We're keeping it very basic, bare bones. So we're going to keep pressing forward. <clears throat> All right, so now we need to do our Docker Compose pull, and then the last command will be Docker Compose up. So Let's get that going. Docker hyphen compose pull. And see, this is another issue you might encounter if you're doing this from a fresh install. We need to get Docker compose installed. Yes. Now that that's installed, all right, so we will do the Docker Compose pull. Whoops, don't send. This is another error that we could encounter, so let's do sudo docker compose pull. All right, here we go.
we're doing this in real time to show you how quickly this can be installed or not cutting out any sequences or anything. All right. So last part we're going to do is doc if I can spell docker compose up. Oh, see? We need to do sudo. Don't send sudo docker compose up <clears throat> now you you saw me run into a handful of you know small issues if you will and i left all those in there so you know the average person who is doing this with uh, maybe minimal skill, when they encounter those issues, we don't want them to be turned away from, from this tool, right? So, want them to feel confident that they have a way forward. So that's why I've left all these really small, minute uh, issues uh, in this tutorial. Uh, some people will be able to whiz through this really quickly. Some others will have to follow the tutorial um, really to the T, and that's fine. This is meant for really any uh, skill level. Just kind of sitting here waiting. Shouldn't be much longer. But like I said, we're doing this in real time. We're not cutting uh, any of the video out. Just to show you that you can get this installed in under 20 minutes. Awesome. So we're currently at around 14 uh, minutes and 50 seconds. And I talked for uh, little host. I talked for a bit at the very beginning. So <laughs> we're really under 15 minutes for getting this installed. So, open up your web browser, type in localhost, you can do HTTPS at the, at the uh, uh, beginning, forward slash forward slash localhost if you want. Um, you're going to get this uh, page because we don't have a SSL cert, that's fine. Like I said, this is bare basic uh, install. Um, you'll click on... Um, 
actually let's let's see local host yeah you'll click on advanced and we will accept the risk and here we are we're at the MISP login page so the uh, the default email login is admin at admin.test and I believe the default password is admin that information is located yep here admin at admin.test and password is admin all lowercase and you hit login and here we are we're logged into MISP and from here you can start poking around uh, adding events uh, just checking out the uh, web interface if you would like and we are going to go no further with this video um, this is purely meant for installation purposes only all right thanks hope you enjoyed it